Following some breaking news this morning, new developments about a deadly deputy involved shooting in Bellflower. Deputies were first called out to break up an illegal street takeover when the shooting happened. CBS 2's Car Finstrom is live at this active scene on Downey Avenue and Artesia Boulevard, where the streets are still blocked off Cara. Yeah, good morning, Suzanne. Sheriff officials now telling us that the man who was shot and killed by deputies this morning, they believe he had just stabbed someone with a garden tool that they described as a garden claw. And they say he had also swung that tool at deputies. All of this unfolding just down the street behind us. Uh, we spoke with Mar Maria Ortiz. She says the man who died is her son, 32-year-old Edgar Ortiz, and they lived in an apartment here. She had no idea, she said, what led to the shooting. Deputies described a chaotic night that began with a street takeover. Take a look. This was right after midnight cars doing donuts in the middle of the street. Sheriff officials say deputies were working to break this up when a traffic collision took place here at the corner of East Artesia Boulevard and Downey Avenue. Listen to this. Sheriff officials say as they were responding to all of this, someone came up to them, said they had been stabbed by a man they pointed deputies to. They say deputies then pursued that man. Maria Ortiz says the sound of all this woke her up. She went outside to see what was happening and saw her son and deputies running down the street. And um, we know about this time firefighters also said they were responding to a third call of a possible stabbing in the area. Let's go now to video of the response to that shooting. Ortiz tells us deputies were asking her son to drop a garden tool. She says they used that garden tool in a small garden by their home. She says she does not know why her son was carrying it, but she says he did not have a gun and she is questioning why deadly force was used. We did hear law enforcement calls for crowd control as deputies work to break all of this up. No reports of any deputies hurt. Back here live, Serene, Suzanne, what we're hearing from deputies at this point is that out of all this chaos here this morning, uh, they're still trying to piece things together, but they don't believe right now that that street takeover was uh, directly related to the stabbing. So um, very detailed investigation underway. The street does remain blocked off. Sadly, that man did lose his life uh, being grieved by his mother this morning. She says he has six children and was expecting a seventh next month. Aww. Sad. Just heartbreaking, Cara. Thank you for that update.